Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, my name is Shelly. I am currently a second grade teacher in Northern California and I am so excited to be sitting in front of you today for a couple of reasons. One, I feel like it has been a long time since I've just like sat down in front of you and shared something with you that I'm really, really excited about. And the second reason is, I don't know if you can tell by the title, but I honestly feel like I'm going to help you solve one of the biggest problems we face in teaching. And I'm very, very, very excited about that. So. If you are interested in figuring out how I am managing to digitize my entire teacher life, and if paper flow is something that you struggle with, which you do if you're a teacher, go ahead and keep on watching. Oh man, oh man, 2020, am I right? All right, my friends. It is 2020 and this school year has been unprecedented to say the very least, whether you are full distance learning, in person, some sort of hybrid or some sort of swap between the three. I think we can all agree that distance learning has kind of like subconsciously redesigned the way that we think about accessing lessons, assignments, assessments, and just overall organization because I don't know about you, but for some reason, not having the kids in front of me is making things even harder. So if you have been on my channel for a while, I have disclosed a lot with you about my distance learning journey. And for us at my school, most of this journey started out with printing paper copies of everything and then sending home packets with the kids once a month. And while that is still taking place, the amount of things that I actually physically have to send home is greatly dwindling and I am loving that because it is extremely, extremely time consuming and not to mention wasteful. Um, so obviously there are some things that we have to have the kids do pencil paper. It's a skill that they need, but I have found a way to pretty much digitize 95% of my assignments and my assessments. And I'm really, really excited to share with you today how I am doing that because I know again, whether you're in the classroom or distance learning, that it is going to be something that I'm gonna be continuing to do throughout my career. And on top of that, again, if you have been here for a while, something that I have complained about since day one of teaching is managing my paper flow. I have not figured out how to do it. I've tried bins and baskets and drawers and file folders. In fact, you can see a lot of that behind me here. And I haven't figured out a way that makes sense for me and my brain. I can't get past this sifting of papers. It drives me absolutely insane. So what I want to share with you today that's helped me digitize assignments for distance learning and school in general has also helped me nail down a paper flow management system that works. I'm going to show you my classroom right now. And I don't know if you notice, but I have completely gotten rid of my filing cabinet. I no longer have paper files and I can't wait to share with you why. <laughs> Are you ready? Here it is. This is the little machine that has changed my life. That's so dramatic, but it's true. This is the Fujitsu Scan Snap. Now I have the model IX 1500. They have a bunch of different models, but this is the one that I have and I love because look how small it is. And it's white and it's just perfect. So this little machine has made my entire distance learning experience less stressful less time consuming and overall just more enjoyable because this is a little scanner and just a minute i'm going to show you how powerful and magical it really is but the gist of it is you put paper in and it scans directly to your computer super super fast so this makes it extremely easy for me to scan any paper assignments lessons whatever and so easily upload them to cami google classroom or whatever platform that you are using prior to this I had been taking pictures on my iPhone, saving them as a PDF, emailing it to myself and uploading that way. And while that works, the lighting was always off. It was blurry. It just wasn't ideal. My other option was to go up to the staff room and use the big scanner and it always jammed. So needless to say, there were always a lot of issues and it was such a pain. This thing has completely removed all of those obstacles for me. So, so digitizing assignments is its first superpower. Also, I've been able to take any activities, assignments, art projects, anything that I've done in my last four years of teaching, scan them into this, put them on my computer, save them to a flash drive, and literally sell my filing cabinet. Talk about paper flow heaven. The reason that's been so amazing for me is because, again, if you've been here for a while, I have taught third grade, 
sixth grade and now second grade and it's only my fourth year of teaching so i have accumulated so much stuff that my filing cabinets were overflowing and i now have a very clean concise way of organizing everything so i know it sounds too good to be true but it's not and i'm going to prove it to you i'm going to show you how this guy works Okay, so first things first, here's where it sits. I have mine connected um, with a USB. There is also a Wi-Fi option, except for some reason, the Wi-Fi at my school is being funky. So that's not working for us today. So then when you open this, this is, look at, I mean, this is my hand. The whole thing is so small and compact, which is one reason why I love it. Anyway, all right, so this is our home screen. Super easy and user friendly, which is what I need. So you have several different options. You can scan to folder, email, business cards, receipts, etc. This is my favorite button right here and I think it will be yours too. You have the option to scan double-sided or single-sided. Now, that is huge for us teachers and I'm going to show you in just a minute. So it is quite as easy as you put the paper in, you push scan and boom, it goes over here to our computer. You can also set this up to connect to your phone as well. I have this connected to my computer and my phone in case I need to scan something directly to my phone. I have it there as well. Like I said, this is extremely user-friendly, which is great because it's just one less thing that we need to learn while we are in this distance learning craze. Okay, so to show you how I have been using and loving this thing, I have a couple of things in front of me. So. The first thing I wanna show you is how I would digitize something like this. This is just like a phonics page that I would give my class. And normally, I would print this all out, I would send it home in a big packet, they would do it, and then a month later, they would finally turn it in and I could check it, which is not ideal for assessing or any, for any reason, to be honest with you. So now I have the ability to scan it to my computer, upload it into Kami, or Google Classroom or whatever, and then have the kids digitally fill it out. And like I said before, I, I would try to digitize things with my phone, but I just couldn't stand how blurry and unclear and everything it was. So this has taken that step out for me, and I wanna show you right now how easy that is. So then from here, I would just open up Google Chrome and I would open up my Google Classroom because I want to assign this to my class, obviously as an assignment. So I, if you don't use Google Classroom, you're gonna do this on whatever platform that you would use. So I'm going to enter the title and everything here. And then when I add it, I'm gonna add the PDF. And I just saved it to my desktop for the sake of this video. So once I upload the PDF, it will attach directly to my Google Classroom. Now. Our school uses something called Kami, which is a program that allows PDFs to be edited. So when my kids go to open the PDF, I have taught them how to open it with Kami, which you're gonna see right here. And then once Kami opens up, they can see the worksheet and then fill it out digitally just by entering text boxes, filling out the answers. And then once they have it complete, they know how to upload it to Google Classroom. So it's quite honestly as simple as scanning it and putting it in Google Classroom. So this is exactly how I would use it. Okay, so that's the first way that I've been using this and I do that every single week with a variety of assignments. Another way that I'll kind of use it like this in terms of putting things on my Google Classroom, I will scan articles or I will scan handwritten notes that I made during class or I will scan answer keys, things like that that I will attach to our Google Classroom so the kids have access to it. And I know I sound like a broken record, but it's so much clearer and easier that it's cut all of the digital digitizing piece literally in half as far as time goes. So that is the first way that I use it. Now, the second way that I use it, like I mentioned, is to organize all of the things. Having moved to second grade this year, I am getting so many new things from my team and that I've bought and downloaded or whatever. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I use it to store and organize all of my paper. For example, I have been using these spiral math pages and if I teach second grade again, I want to have access to these, but I don't want to put them in a file. So what I will do is I will scan multiple pages 
save them into my second grade folder under math, and then throw these away or recycle them. So the next year, when I need the paper copies, I can just go to my computer, find the file, and print them. It's just so much easier. Okay, so let me show you how that works. like once it saves and when it pops up I just rename it and then you can browse and put it directly in the file that you want so for the sake of this video I created a new file so you don't see all of my junk so second grade spiral math boom it is that easy and then when I go back to the file when you see the PDF it will show every single page in one PDF all I have to do next year open this document print and then boom, I have all of my hard copies. And then the last thing that I wanna show you is just a really, really cool feature of it. Like I mentioned before, it does two-sided things. So this, for example, is um, a math activity that I had the kids do for fun, two-sided. And I'm gonna show you really quickly how it scans both sides with just one swipe and saves both pages. Okay, so those have really been the three main ways that I have been using and loving my little scanner. Another really cool feature about the SnapScan is that they've developed an app that goes right along with it. So like I mentioned, I'm able to connect this to my computer and to my phone. So having the app just makes it super easy, extremely user-friendly. The screen looks almost identical to the actual machine itself. So you can scan right to your phone, download, and it's so, so, so easy. So having it in an app form, again, just allows for even more ways to use it. Okay, so that's the secret. That is the machine that has truly transformed my classroom, my teaching, especially with distance learning. You guys know that I am very particular about things that I share with you on this channel. I only share products and resources that A, I use and love, and B, that I think will actually genuinely help you. And I am telling you, if you are anything like me, if you struggle with paper flow, or if you are looking for easier, clearer ways to digitize your lessons and assignments and assessments, I'm telling you, it is at least worth checking out. I will have everything linked below in the description box. I'm planning on using this even when we come back to in-person learning because it is so, so easy. That's the catch-all for me. Anything that's easy and makes my life easier, I'm in for. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to go down to the comments, ask, I will do my best to answer. And also while you're down there, let me know how you're doing. How are you in this 2020 school year? I'm struggling, not gonna lie, <laughs> but we'll get through it. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, all the good stuff. I genuinely hope that you found this helpful and I will see you guys in my next video.